okay this is for um user x tyler tyler x 20 minutes ago i 18 male want kids in the future but my boyfriend 25 male doesn't I recently started dating my best friend. We've been best friends for four years and he recently just got out of a relationship. Throughout the years, we've grown close and we know a lot about each other. He knows I want children and I know he doesn't. I really want to be with him so much that I'm willing to give up having a child in about 10 years to be with him, <clears throat> despite my deep desire to have one and be the father I didn't have. He has never had a desire to have children and I'm okay with that. I've always wanted at least one. I know there's no compromise for having a child or not. He also tells me I shouldn't give up on something I want just so we can be together though. But I'm also but I'm almost willing to give up anything to be with him after wanting to be with him for so long. And dating him feels absolutely perfect. Should I really just let the relationship go or is it okay for me to let go of my deep desire to be a dad in the future? <clears throat> okay. This is for the poster of this post. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I just want to apologize for my camera. <laughs> it's going to drop in and out of focus. So I'm sorry for that. Um, <clears throat> look, here is the thing that I want you to remember. Okay. You're 18 years old. Now I'm 32 and I'm male and um, I have a girlfriend who's 28 female. Now, the thing that you have to remember is that <clears throat> like, dude, I'm a completely different man, completely different man than the man I was or the boy I was at 18. And that's not a diss to you. Okay. I'm not dissing you because of that, but you just have to understand that at 18, if you really want to have kids at 18, um, and if the reason is because you want to be the father that you never had, um, I don't know if that's a good reason to have kids to make up for something that you didn't have, but I'm not going to dis, I'm not going to blame you for it. If that's your reason, that's your reason. Okay. But what you have to remember is that your desires may change <clears throat> and they probably will. Like there's an, you know, at, at least in my opinion, it's a high eighties, nineties chance that your opinions and desires will change. Now you can be in a relationship with this guy for a long time before you are the man you need to be to raise children. I was 28 before I could look in the mirror and see a man. All right. I, I'm from a Greek background. Um, I don't know if you could see all the olive oil on my skin, <laughs> but I had hair on my face at fucking 17 and I was not a man. Right. And because you're going to go through life, you're going to go through changes. You're going to go through relationships, maybe not romantic, but friendships and jobs and experiences and different places, maybe. And it's going to change who you are. I am, I am, world's reversed. I was raised as a Pentecostal speaking in tongues, born again, Christian. And now I'm a flat out atheist. Right. And so, um, <clears throat> you're going to change and that's okay. That's okay. I, I don't think you need to make a decision right now. I think you need to take the pressure off yourself. I think you need to be okay with having two thoughts in your head at the same time. One of them being that you want children and the other being that you want to be with him. That's okay. And look, I think this dude's a good bloke. Like he's looking out for you. He, he also tells me I shouldn't give up on something I want just so we can be together though. Okay. I'll tell you why he's going to say that. I think one of the reasons he's saying that is because he doesn't want you to get resentful towards him because you feel he's robbed you of something for being in the relationship. Now, you might think that that's not going to happen. And I would tend to agree with that thought. But at the same time, you have to remember that resentment develops without our consent. Okay. And so it's not going to be your choice <clears throat> to get resentful or hurt by him or want to break up with him because the, the priority of having children is bigger. My camera's fucking right now. I, I'm sorry about that. Um, I think that if you look, if you want to be with him, be with him, you know, and if it, if it comes to the point where you have to make a decision between him and children, well then make that decision when the time comes. But that time is not now. You're 18 years old, man. You don't, you don't need to make this decision right now. And so, 
um, I like that you love him so much that you're willing to give that up for him, but I don't necessarily believe you. And it's not because I think you're lying. I don't think that at all. It's because most people don't know what they want until they find out what they don't want, right? And so it may be the case that you end up in a relationship with him for 10 years without kids and you're 28 and then you want kids. Like you fucking really want kids and that's okay too. That is the time to have the conversation because he might change his mind. He might be 35 and think, God damn, son, I don't have a legacy. I need a child, right? That could be the case. It may not. And so you need to be prepared for that. But I don't think you need to make any decisions now. Um, I think you need to relax. You need to enjoy him. He's a, he sounds like a, a good dude, you know, and finding a good dude, gay or straight, is a fucking hard thing to do, okay? And so just enjoy him, you know, and when and really think about it, really think about it within yourself. Take the time to really have those thoughts and write things down, right? right start writing things down now because if you write things down, today is... 5 July in Melbourne, Australia, okay? If you write down what you want on 5 July, it may be different to 5 July 2021 and 5 July 2022, okay? And it'll be good for you to be able to look back at that and also writing technically assist you with being able to articulate yourself and that is the most important thing that most of us don't learn how to do is articulate ourselves, to express ourselves fully and totally to the person we love. Most of us end up in fights, not because we're shit cunts, because we're not, but we end up in fights because um, we didn't articulate ourselves and the person gets a mixed message. And then they flip out because they think it's a processed thought when it's just a raw thought that we've thrown into the conversation, right? Learn to articulate yourself. Learn how to be the man you want to be, a real man who shows responsibility, honesty, Um, uh, consistency, a willingness to sacrifice, which you've already got, right? And so be the man you need to be for him, but mostly for yourself and definitely if you want kids for them. I needed to become the man I was before I was in the relationship I'm currently in. I wasn't that man until I was 32 years old, you know? So don't be in a rush, man. You're 18. You're 18. You know, you've got 14 years before you get to where I am. And even I've still got a fuck ton of future left, you know. So I hope that helps, man. You know, I really wish the best for you. Good luck.